So the fourth section of your project is analysis. You've made the graphs and you want to talk about what they are showing you. So you need to compare at least two features of the distributions of the groups that you've been investigating. And you should um, look at this in three stages. So first of all, looking at the center of those um, two groups that you've got. So compare the medians. What are they? How, how different are they? Um, what, which one's bigger than the other and so on. You can also compare the middle 50%, that means the box. So the boxes represent the middle 50% of your data from the 25% mark up to the 75% mark. How do they compare between your groups? Is one box um, higher up the scale than another and so on. You could also compare the means, although um, most of the time you're, you're just looking at the medians and the middle boxes, but it is an, an op op option there. Uh, NZ Grapher does give you the mean, you can talk about that too. Then you move on and you talk about the spread and the shape of your data. So you want to compare the shape of the two groups. Do they both look like a normal distribution? Do they look so like something else? Is one um, closer to a normal distribution than the other? Are they? Um, is one perhaps more um, squished up or skewed? Um, so you can look at if there's any skew to either of your groups. Is it right skewed, left skewed? How do they compare? Remember, all of this is about comparing the two groups. You can compare the spread of the two groups. Is one more spread out than the other? And what does it mean? Um, you can also compare the spread of the box. That's the interquartile range. So again, it's that middle 50% of the data. Um, what does the spread look like in the center of your um, distribution? Next, look for any, any, any interesting features. Are there any outliers on your graph? Any clusters? Any other unusual features that you want to talk about? Just anything that you can see that's of interest that you would want to discuss and give, give it in specific terms. So say there's a, there's a point at this um, value on the graph and talk about it, talk about what it might be. Right, so if you wanna go for more than achieved, you need to justify your statements. So instead of just saying this one's bigger than that one, say that you can see that the median is this value. The median of the other group is this value. That's this much bigger. Give the evidence for what you're saying. What is it on your graph that's making you make that statement? And then what does it mean about the sample? So what is it exactly is it telling you that one median is higher than the other? What does that actually mean for your sample? And then what does it mean about the population? And again, referring back to the question that you started with, how does it answer that question? What does it make you think about the population that you sampled? And finally, what can you infer about the distribution of the population? So looking at the distribution in your sample, do you expect the same thing to happen in your population? Or do you accept, expect something slightly different? If you took a bigger sample, do you think it would show anything different? What do you think it's telling you about what's happening back in your main population that you sampled from?